What's up, Gumblaw Modelers? This is Spider K2, and first off, I want to say this. Um, I'm no longer going to say my username on YouTube. I'm just going to say my name. My name is Jim, and it's nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, as you can tell, I'm going to be doing a new video today. It's going to be something unique, and I want to show off what I got today from my uh, Gundam Crawl, as I like to call it. The first two kits that I got were from a store called DNK Hobby. They were both in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And when I saw them, I'm like, oh, that looks, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> I've actually been looking for these kits secretly, and I'm taking a break from doing Master Grades until Christmas. So I might as well do a couple High Grades. So here's what I got. High grade double O Gundam, O Gundam, type ACO or ACD, whatever. Uh, this is the one that you saw in the final episode of Gundam Double O. This kit came out in 2009. This kit, or this camera won't focus, so take my word for it. It came out in 2009, and the kit sells for. Come on. It won't focus, but it's 1200 yeah. A good reviewer has done this already. Uh, I believe it was... Um, oh, yeah, Robert184. I apologize. And you can see his video. He did a very in-depth video of it. And Gundam Guy actually uses this as his main picture on his front page. So and I've seen his custom, and it, it looks pretty cool. So I decided to get my own, so I want to see how that comes out. Next is a rare, I think this is a rare kit, but I could be wrong. But when I saw this, I was like, ooh, this looks really good. And I've seen people use it in videos, and I'm like, eh, what the hell, I'll try it out. Gundam TR-1 Hazel Custom from the Advancement of Zeta uh, series. This kit came out in 2005 and it goes for 1300 yen. So it's 100, 100 yen more than him. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this kit actually has some interesting features where the legit pack can hold the shield, it looks like, or thruster. I have no idea. Beam rifle is kind of tiny, but the head looks pretty cool. Has something that pops up on the side. I'll have to investigate that. Hey, I might even do a review with this of this model. So, and it has a beam saber on the side. Nice little action pose there. This is like one of those rare Gundams that you don't see much, and it wasn't really made into a. Uh, Animated series and more like for the novels, I'm guessing. So it looks cool, and I'm gonna give it a try, see how it looks. Uh, I'll probably do unboxing soon. The next kit I actually got from another store. It was not. There was called a uh, the House of Fun in Oakland, New Jersey. They don't carry much kits, but when they do, it's they they got a good selection. They mainly carried non grades of 100s and the occasional uh, high grades, a lot of first grades, and very rare uh, mass grades, or very rarely. Uh, actually, now they have a 160th non grade uh, Wing Gun Zero that caught my eye, but don't have the money for it. So I saw this guy, which only came out recently, and I thought, what the heck? It looks really cool. GM Cannon 2. And yes, you saw my shadow. Ignore it. Anyway, uh, I saw this and I'm like, you know what? I don't have any grunt suits, so why not make this my uh, grunt first? So I'm hoping this comes out pretty well. Uh, it comes from 0083 and 
It came out this year in 2011, the price of 1400 yen. And it's able to connect to an action base, has a nice little pivots. And I'm very, I'm very interested in how this comes out. I might do an unboxing for this as well, as well as my other two kits here. And the last thing I got is kind of not a Bandai product, but I've used this before. It's actually from a company called Premium Parts Collection which are very cool actually. Uh, I use this, I have one already, actually I know two that I use on two model kits on a high grade double riser and my high grade uh, high new Gundam Gunplug builder color and they are perfect with it. And I got this, the mini MS stand. This is like probably a couple bucks. I got this also from the House of Fun, and not only do just go off subject of Gundam for a minute. If you guys are ever there for Transformers or any collectibles you're looking for, they got it. So they also have the new trans uh, not just tr Transformers, but the new Thundercats characters there. So check them out. Uh, but yeah, this stand is really good. It's bendable. It doesn't flick over anything. It works pretty well. I might be using this this one with the yeah, O Gundam, so the other two kits might be uh, just standing around. Well, I think the gun kind of means standing around because it's more of a a heavy artillery, anyway. And the Hazel, I'm still figuring how that one will be. But yeah, I thought I'd be showing these off to you guys. And apologize. For the arm. That's my uh, swag for this today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And to the guy who's left a reply for me in my Quanta video, you're probably watching this now, but guess what? I do my videos my own way. So if you don't like these videos, please unsubscribe or don't even watch my videos. Simple as that. You know who you are. Everyone else. Laugh at him. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching this, and I'll catch you guys next time.